making the last few videos um, about the Yamasi, that got me interested in the Yamasi. So I look, I looked them up, and them being a, an extinct tribe really had me interested. And so, you know, it's just it's just really interesting. So let's get into it. And it says the the Yamasi were a multi-ethnic confederation of Native Americans. Now that's interesting because multi-ethnic deals with different ethnicities. Also, like how when um, the the Hebrews left Egypt, they they came across the Bering Strait, and that's why Hapa Group Q1A, L53, uh, Y Hapa Group C, and Y Hapa Group R. That's in in my opinion. That's who they were, and probably Y Hapa Group. R1B, and um, <clears throat> they were uh, basically a mixed multitude, so multi-ethnic. So I, I thought that was interesting, right? So I, I started looking to this, especially them as an extinct tribe, because I think that is a tell of who the 144,000 are. They're extinct as a tribe. So I looked up um, Mokama. Mokama to me sounds kind of like Mahama or Muhammad and Islam. And that's extinct as a tribe. Okay. And there's more here. Guale or Gua. I don't know how to pronounce that. Guale. That's extinct as a tribe. Okay, so, so far that's three. Hit Chitty is extinct as a tribe. Now I'm talking about the ones that are related to the Yamas Yamasi. Okay, um, well, let me see if Kashada is one. No, they're not extinct. Because they got a picture of them right there. But 910 enrolled members. But yeah, um... And I think Kashad is probably your Kush. But, you know, let's keep going. So, and here's one that I thought was interesting. This Ocute. Okay, they're related to this area, South Carolina, right? And then the Appalachian. Now, why this is all interesting, and what you can see here is um, the spirals the pinwheels, the the six, and that's 666. And I told you before that the Appala Appalachian Nation would actually create the lawless one. It's in one of my later videos. I'm sure people haven't watched that, so I'll just tell you. Appalachian Nation will create the lawless one when things go down in this area. Okay? It says they're extinct as a tribe, but about 300 descendants left self-identify as Appalachian. Which is interesting because how can you be extinct and pe people can identify? Extinct means none, okay? At least identifying, okay? They can be alive, but they may, may not identify. And that's why I say the Yamasi, the Mokama, the Guali, and the Hitchi are all the people who are probably part of the 144,000. Why do I say that? Because they're extinct. And I believe these are the people with the X's on their hand because they're extinct. Get it? So um, I was looking this up, and I, you know, here's some information about the where the Yamasee were at in uh, South Carolina. You had the Cherokee above them, the Chara, the Chara, uh, the Cataba, the Watery, Wakama, and Petey, like Petey Pablo, <laughs> Westo. Kusabo and Adisto. Now, this is all um, really interesting. Now, watch this. This is Yamasee, uh, a low country in Beaufort. Okay, so this is very, very telling. I hope I didn't bore you to death, you know, with, with that introduction, but this is where it gets interesting. Yamasee is a small, low country town in Beaufort and Hampton. Now, 
that that is such a loaded statement. So now I hope you I hope you stay with me here. Yamashi is Yamoshi is the first god of the Saiyans. And it's not the Y Hapaku R. Well, it could be R too, because they were all together, P, Q, and R. Oh yeah, and Y Hapaku P came over here too. So it was P, Q, R, and C that came over. So that that could be that could be the people who are here. This is Q. Uh, C, Muhammad, I'm get, I'm just, you know, off the top of my head, probably, um, uh, maybe C, that one, maybe R, that one, I don't know, I'm just guessing, I don't know, so, let's keep going, because this is interesting, okay, so you have the Yamasi, the Yamasi, I cannot say that enough, you have to get this through your head, the Yamasi, my name is Jamie Shahid, Yama Shi, Yama Shahi. But anyway, let's keep going. Yamasi is a low country town in Beaufort. Let's stop right there and I'll show you. Be and I'll tell you. Beaufort and Hampton deals with both um, sides of the world. And I'll show you that right now. I'll open this. And we'll go up to Beaufort, and we'll come up to this. We'll come back to that later. We'll go to Beaufort C. Beaufort C. And this is in um, the north. Okay, this is Beaufort C right here. Beaufort C is what you see the man the man eyeing him right here. This man right I and him, and that's why Hapa Group C, and that's Mausa or whatever. I think that's Muhammad, probably um, something to that effect. But this is the guy praying, right? This is Bu this is Buford C. Okay, Buford C. Him praying, Islamic style and Egyptian style, and Israelite style, in my opinion. But Look at this. If that's Buford C, and it is, this is Buford C. Right here is where I'm at. And that's Kalilit. Okay, this is Kalilit. Why is that important? Where's the Hamptons? The Hamptons is, is in New York, but the Hamptons is really dealing with um, the, the eastern portion of this of this sea, of the ocean, and that deals with um, uh, Europe. Okay, so the Hamptons is European. Beaufort is Native American, and what you do is come down here, <clears throat> back to South Carolina, and you will see the same exact thing in Yamasi, where Khalil is at. That's my other name. Khalil, Khalilit, Yama, Yamasi. Right here. You see the same exact thing. Let me zoom out and you'll see it. You see? Beaufort, right there. Yamasi, right there. And it's actually a person. You can see the neck. This is the neck. This is the face. He's wearing a helmet and and some kind of uh, high hat. And right next to him is is Buford. Let me get it. Is Buford now up north? It's reversed. Um, instead of it being Yamasi, it's Buford. Instead of it being Buford, it's 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 Khalil. Are you getting it? Now, to the right of that, let me go back up. Let me go back up to the right because I you got to see this too. Let's go to, back to Buford C. Buford C is is got his his hand. See, this is Buford C. That's his name. You turn him around. This is the top of his hat, but he is praying 
in the face of the dragon. Russia and the Wahhab group R1A people. Not only that, this is this is this is one of their heads. This is one of their heads with him spitting on him while he's praying. This is spit coming out of his mouth. Okay? There's another head down here. This is the nose. Okay? Remember? Moab, R1A, R1B. Remember mixed multitude, multitude that came out of Egypt? Which was on both uh, sides of, of the Bering Strait. Okay, so. And they're being faced down by Buford C. And, uh, and uh, basically God. And um, Khalilit has the back right here. Okay, and that's probably against Y Hopper Group C right there, the, the Philistines, the Egyptians. And you see the same thing, the same thing is in Yamasee. I keep wanting to spell my name. <laughs> you see the same thing in Yamasee. The same thing. Remember, on the right. Okay? On the right. Okay, this is Yamasee. And if, and if you guys are in, in your Bible, you, you probably should remember that the name on the forehead is Yami. Are we getting it? <laughs> that's my name. I'm trying to tell you. The name that saves is Yami. Y Yamase or Yami. Okay? K I think Khalil it too, but, or Khalil. But um, let's keep going. So on the right, on the right of here, you have, oh, actually on the left, you have Yamasee. That's me. But to the right is our enemy. And who is that? That's Charleston. And who else is that? Somerville. And that Somerville has to deal with Sumer. And I think it has to deal with Y-Hapa Group R and E, because I think Y-Hapa Group e, R and E were together as Sumer. But that's a whole nother story. But what they're doing is something with their hand. What they're doing is something with their hand. Now use your imagination on this. Like uh, like uh, Doug Hemp said I like to do. Yeah, Doug Hemp. I know you're watching my videos. Doug Hemp said I was using my imagination to come up with these things. Now it's interesting that I showed you um, Hampton and how that d dealt with um, Europe and how, how that's why I group R and E. And, um, oh yeah, this is very, very interesting. What did this Doug Hamp and all of his buddies want to do? They want to quiet me. And that's exactly what the finger of Charleston Somerville uh, is doing. Okay? You'll see it right here. You see what's coming up by my nose and my mouth is a finger. That finger is to shut me up. Somerville is trying to shut up Yamasi. Why? Oh, it's, it's nothing new. They get, they get it from their daddy, Beelzebub. Let's show. Let me show you. See, I'm here trying to tell the people, pleading with the people, this is my hands in a pleading position, the Chinese way of, of pleading with the hands together. I'm pleading with them to come back to God. That's what I'm doing. Okay? But someone is holding my mouth. Watch this. Over here, I'm also pleading with them to come back to God and praying, but they cut my head off get it now who's holding my mouth someone is holding my mouth and who's holding my mouth is Bell is Bermuda and that's why they were taken out Bermuda was her holding my mouth oh you don't believe me let's go to B B Bermuda and that's why they were taken out see right there right in the middle of the, the temple Bermuda 
they're the ones holding holding my uh, my mouth shut keeping me quiet from talking to my people holding it shut with their hands right here around Khalil it Khalil you getting it you still think I'm using my imagination Doug Huh? You done dug a ditch that you can't get out of. Your your fate is already sealed. Yeah, you talking about you, you want to be in in with God and stuff. Let, let's see if you really want to be with God, because that would mean being against yourself. And we all know that white people are way too proud to be against themselves. Okay, so. Is there anything else I wanted to show here? Oh yeah, Yamasee, the town of y Yamasee, the, the small low country they say, is actually a key. There's a key right here. So what they did was lock up because the key is going into my forehead, I believe. Let me look at, at Bluntville and see where that goes. I haven't even looked at that yet. Bluntville, is it Tennessee? Let's just go to Yamasee again. <clears throat> yeah, this is a trip. This is a trip. So yeah, the key, let me see. They're not gonna show the key like this. But still, it's, um, Beaufort is coming into the, into the forehead right there. But yeah, it's okay. Bluntville, and I, when I think what that Bluntville represents is a lot of stuff. You have blunt trauma to the head to forget who you are. You have blunt trauma to the, to the head to murder you. See what I'm saying? And that's what they tried to do to, to my father, to the back of the head of my father. Okay. And, uh, man, this is a trip. And I think this is why Apple Group R. So I think there are some R's that probably did fight with us, some C's that probably did fight with us. You know, it's coming out of that mixed multitude. But I don't think they're Israel. If anything, they're trying to to replace Israel, and you can see that clearly by the fight that is happening up here at Buford C and and um, you know the, the Arctic region region up here. See, you have him trying to get to Buford C. You have. Um, even there's a big one here. Let me see. I haven't shown that one in a while. There's a big one. Um, right. Uh, is it here? Yeah, right here. This, this, this whole thing is like holding a man or a person and they're, they're conversing too. So it's like, like God is surrounded by his enemies but his son has his back. You getting it? And who is God? God is Exodus 3.14. Who's in Exodus 3.14? Let me get it. God says to Moses in Exodus 3.14, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. But if you know like I know, it's really not I am. It's not a higher. It's not higher. It's Exodus 3.14. Oh, well, oh, you don't know? Let me put it this way. Exodus is X. Three is really an M. The 14 is really an N. What's that spell? Shaman. 
That's who God is. Shaman. X-Man. Shaman. Yes. If you didn't know, now you know. Let's keep going. Mark 10 and 15. The mark is the X on the hand. The purest people are related to the are related to other tribes who have X in the, in their name. Like um Shingnu, that's X I N G N U. And you have some others here, Shakriaba, Shavante, Shukora. You get it? And here's even more. The Shem, Shembioa, the Shavante, Sharentes, Sheta, Sh Shapaya, Shoklinge, Shoko, Shukura, Shukura, Kariri. You get it? And here's a here's a Yaman Awa. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> There's Yami again. Okay, and um and you see how they're red? You get it? Extinct or damn near extinct. Are you getting it? Is it coming clear to you yet? And who's doing this? Who's doing this to these people, huh? Is it some phantom god? Some phantom spirit? Some person we can't put our hands on when we need to? No. It ain't nothing but the Ku Klux Klan. How do you know? How can you tell? It's real simple. Who's poisoning the water? Who hates black people the most? Who hates other people more than any people on the planet? That's R1A. That's the Aryans. Okay? Now, how, how do you know this? Well, let's go to it. Let's go to it. Let's go back to Albany, New York. Okay, I hope, I hope you watch that video. Let's go back to Albany, New York, and it, you'll see it for yourself. Wormwood, remember? Okay, I told you that this is where the Ebonyville is at. Ebony and Ivory. The black and white, which I think is CNR. The czar. But what's here? I showed you. This is this is a person right here. I showed you this yesterday. Okay? Albany is the head of a person. But going the other direction, see this is the neck, this is the eye, this is the head, but going the direct opposite direction facing him, you have this. Well, let me finish showing you that. Yeah. See, this is the whole face, but then the direct opposite is this. You see him? Albany, New York. 85 is his eye. The nose is right underneath. The mouth and the chin is where Renal Rensselaer is at. And he's a Hampton. Hampton Manor. Get it? On his head, it's Ludenville, as in Lud, as in why half a group R. He has a thing coming out of his forehead, which is a colony, like a beehive, or a, or a Teflon, or a colonizer. And he's wearing a very very high hat. Oh, you don't you don't believe me? Watch this. Look how high his hat is. This is his face. His hat starts at this purple highway here. And you keep going up. It goes up to Cohos, Waterford, Melrose, Half Moon. I wonder what, what that's for, Islam. Um, keep going, keep going. Now it's part of this water, still water and round lake. Keep going. Maple, maple shade, keep going. It's a high hat. Wilton, Northumberland, keep going. Jewel Corner, keep going. Clark's Corner, keep going. All the way up into this point right here. Glens Falls and Hudson Falls. That's your hat. What what type of hat? You should know this if you if you 
pay attention to my research, you should know this. That hat is a Ku Klux Klan regalia insignia. It's a Caporati. Caporotti. Okay? It's a priesthood. For what kind for what kind of priest? Wahab group R1A. Moab and Ammon. Oh you getting it? <laughs> also Gandalf. Are you getting it? Huh? This is a classical pointed hat that are worn by dwarves, witches, wizards, and the Ku Klux Klan. And you don't need a, a, a one of these to act like one of these. <laughs> are you getting it? I hope you're getting it. I really do. Because that's what it really is. Okay? Pointed hat. All right, so uh, I don't know what else to tell you. 